Juice World was a promising rapper with real talent. He had just started to receive wide recognition for his craft when he passed away at the young age of 21. The unfortunate scenario that surrounded his death has had many people thinking that they may have overlooked his call for help and ignored his struggle with addiction. Since his death on the 8th of December 2019, there has been a lot of speculation about the things that the young rapper might have been experiencing before he finally passed away from a drug overdose. This is not unexpected. In Lean With Me, one of his very popular songs, the rapper sang about drug abuse and addiction, but not many people took the time to understand the song for what it actually is. Yes, everybody's been speculating, but no one knows the truth, and that's what we will show you in today's video, so stay tuned, you will not want to miss it. Before we get into this topic, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of Juice World, and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a new iPhone 11, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now we are going to show you some secrets that you definitely missed and lean with me. So stay tuned and unraveling one of the biggest rap mysteries of 2019. The music video opens with a 12 step group meeting, standing and holding hands, saying their serenity prayer. Being present in a 12 step program shows the struggle of Juice World with addiction and his desire to break free from. You probably know this already, what you don't know is that Juice World was desperately telling people to reach out to him and help him. In the video, after saying the serenity prayer and everyone takes their seat, there's an empty seat behind Juice World, the only empty seat. While this could be a random act without special meaning, we believe it's not. That the only seat that is empty is the one beside Juice World isn't a mistake. It was Juice World's way of telling people that he is lonely. With his death and the circumstances surrounding it, it becomes clearer that in the midst of all of the paparazzi, Juice World was still very lonely. Beyond the struggles of Juice World, the empty seat is also a way of encouraging his fans who are going through an addiction to open up about it and speak to people. There is always someone to listen. Addiction is a bad state to be in. Juice World knew it, everyone knows it. The idea of Juice World going to a group meeting shows that he wants to stop but he can't. This is clear and stated in the beginning of the song. He talks about having a devil and an angel on his shoulder, presumably a thought encouraging him to get help and another encouraging him to indulge in the addiction. The devil is on his shoulder pressuring him to get high while the angel is pressuring him to stay clean. He was in a very terrible state and he confessed it. The thing is, he doesn't seem like there's anything he could do about it, so he is going to indulge the addiction again. Another thing that is worthy of note is the girl that Juice World talks about. The girl doesn't like that he is always high. She wants him to sober up. However, in the hook of the song, he wants her to smoke and get high with him. What's more interesting is that the music video shows a girl getting high with him. In the middle of the video, the music stops and Juice World calls 911 to tell them that his girlfriend just overdosed. This points at the fact that even though Juice World is struggling, he prefers to keep other addicts around than those who don't encourage his lifestyle. Another secret you most definitely missed is how Juice World expressed his helplessness and his need for help. In the music video, he's shown kneeling in front of a girl embracing her like someone who's crying. The girl attends to him tenderly and gently. The purpose of that scene is to show how helpless he is and how much he needs the help of people. As the song progresses, Juice World says, I know I'm not right, but I'm not wrong. No, I'm not wrong. With these words, Juice World knows that what he is doing is not right. He even goes ahead to say, told her if I die, I'ma die young. However, he doesn't believe that he is wrong for liking the substance. Let's be honest, we all have had bad habits that we shouldn't be indulging in, but we indulge in them anyway. Narcotics are particularly notorious because they have the ability to make you feel high. Many addicts know that they are endangering their lives, but they can't blame themselves for enjoying the feeling they get from drugs. Juice World knew he would probably go overboard one day. Juice World's Lean With Me is clearly a cry from someone who felt himself sinking too deep but has no control over his addiction. He's very open about his addiction in interviews and he's always said how he's trying to overcome it, but it is unfortunate that he never got the help he needed until he sank too deep. Throughout a lot of his lyrics and multiple songs, he kind of speculates on how he's going to live and die young all because of drugs and even though he didn't overdose from having fun, it was from a reason that was described in other videos about how he was raided and he took perks so the feds didn't find them. It's always been a clear sign that he has been putting out to the public in a very lyrical way without telling people that he needs help. 
These secrets were missed by many people because not many knew of his struggle with addiction at the time. If you're watching this video and you're struggling with addiction, reach out to people before it's too late because for Juice World, a very talented artist, it was too late. He gave signs, he said it in his lyrics, and although a lot of people may knew that he was struggling with addiction, no one took it serious enough to actually give him the help. And eventually, regardless of the circumstance, it was narcotics that ended his life and the addiction overall. And with so many recent deaths in the industry and just from around it, with drugs, maybe we should start taking a listen to what actually is being said and what is trying to be announced in a very low-key way, like what Juice World has done in the song Lean With Me. He has left secrets that were not answered, and it eventually ended his life. With that being said, I'm going to end the video here. If you are a fan of Juice World, leave a like on this video, and if you're struggling with the same problem and needing help, Comment it in the video and you never know who could be the voice to help you. Thank you for watching this video. Mixed Ice Media, I'll see you in the next one.